interpreter. But basically, in general, we want to find the first five terms of a sequence, or if they say six terms, or seven terms, or eight terms, whatever it may be, all we're simply going to do is plug in the term of the sequence in for n. So if I want to find a sub 1, what I'm simply going to do is plug 1 in for n, or wherever I see n. And we're just going to follow that pattern. If I want to find a sub 2, then I do negative 5 times 2 plus 1. a sub 3 equals negative 5 times 3 plus 1. a sub 4 equals negative 5 times 4 plus 1. And a sub 5 equals negative 5 times 5 plus 1. Hmm? You're, you're going to do the five, right? Do the five. Yeah, you, it said only do the five terms. So that's the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. So it's like, it's find the first, that's first. So it says find the first five terms. So basically, you're just going to plug in one through five in for n. And now we just need to evaluate. Now remember, when we evaluate, though, we have to make sure we apply the order of operations. All right? So remember, we're multiplying first, then we're adding. So negative 5 times 1 is negative 5, plus 1 is negative 4. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, plus 1 is negative 9. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15, plus 1 is negative 14. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20, plus 1 is negative 19. And negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, plus 1 is negative 24. So if we were just going to write this out, we can write them. Just like negative 4, negative 9, negative 14, negative 19, negative 